Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your recent past, current energy and immediate future. Answering the question, what is your biggest blockage to your abundance right now? As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the Oracle cards for the overall energy, both for the separate energies and for the overall energy for the reading. I've already shuffled the tarot deck we'll be diving into as well as, well as the decks we'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. All right, Aquarius. This, I feel like, is a pretty um, positive reading, so I'm excited to jump in here. In your recent past, you have the energy is gaining momentum with the Three of Pentacles. This is about, like, the pieces falling into place for you. Like, I feel like things have been, um, it's felt like, like, like you're, you've, oh, you've been getting there for so long, and I feel like this is you kind of starting to feel like you're actually um, like there, like you're where you want to be. Um, I also, though, feel like this energy has been picking up for a while, and it almost feels like you've gotten to the point where you don't believe it's coming. Like, I feel like you're like, uh, you've you've thought that good things were coming for so long that you're kind of at the point where you're like, no, they're not. You know, whenever you feel um, like they might be happening. And that's why in your current energy, you have a fiery climax approaches with the nine of cups in reverse. Your outlook right now is pretty negative. Like, I, I feel like you don't think, and, and for a reason, but I feel like you just don't think that, what you want is ever going to happen. And I feel like that ultimately is keeping things from happening. Because remember, our expectations are the root of our results. Now, I also feel like things are going to start to take like a positive turn that's going to give you a little bit more hope, um, a little bit more like, like positive, like more of a positive outlook, which will kind of help things snowball. Because in your immediate future, you have a new romantic cycle begins with the Wheel of Fortune here. Now, this doesn't necessarily need to ne be about romance. This could be just like a new cycle in your life. Um, but if it if it does resonate for you with romance, then absolutely take it as it resonates. But these are this, the Wheel of Fortune here, these are this positive changes. It's almost like these positive changes allow you to have a little bit more of an optimistic outlook and then that outlook then kind of causes things to move a little bit quicker because I feel like you've been fighting with this negative like negative outlook on things but you have this negative outlook because of what you've been experiencing for so long so it does kind of feel like it's 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 very paradoxical right um the overall energy for this reading the question to keep in mind during this reading is how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment um I feel like you're being really hard on yourself for some reason here, Aquarius. I feel like you're being hard on yourself about maybe not being perfect or not having it all figured out or not having yet been able to um, attract and receive what it is that you want. Either way, there's a need to be a lot easier on yourself and understand that you're a human and you're dealing with some pretty tough cycles and anyone in your position would be responding the same way that you are. So don't be so hard on yourself about where you're at. Be excited about what you've been able to get through and what that means for you in your future. Now, let's start by looking at Aquarius's recent past, clarifying the energy is gaining momentum with this Three of Pentacles. This is for Aquarius's recent past, clarifying the energy is gaining momentum with the Three of Pentacles. Recent past for Aquarius, the Six of Swords. Ooh, okay. See, I feel like you feel like you're always moving on from something. Like, I feel like you're like, you feel like you're always healing from something. And you always will be healing, right? Like, healing is a lifelong journey. But it just, I feel like you feel like you've never gotten to a point where you just feel like things are like good. Like, it just feels like you're always, like, dealing with something. Um, like, possibly since you were a kid. Like, you haven't been able to find the stability that you're looking for or the, um, the circumstances that make you feel like even just safe and secure and um, like taken care of almost. And I feel like a lot of this is about um, creating those for yourself. Now, this energy is gaining momentum. You know, I will say that the closer you get to the end of a cycle, the more frustrating things seem. The, actually, the closer you get to the end of a cycle, sometimes the furthest away you feel from what it is that you're wanting. And that creates a lot of emotional and mental turmoil, right? Now, I feel like that's what you've been dealing with. Let's start, or let's get more for Aquarius's recent past. The lovers in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles. Aquarius, you don't feel deserving of what you want here. 
you don't feel deserving of what you want. And that's why you've been dealing with, you know, through, it's almost like learning to stay the course, even when the course feels like when you, when you feel like there's no reason for you to keep going. And in doing that, that's how you create these positive changes. So this is about like really just keeping the faith, um, even when it feels like you don't have a reason to, ultimately. Reset path for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius's reset past. So your reset past was dealing with a lot of not feeling deserving, a lot of feeling like, like you could be, yeah, because this is a cycle. You could be looking at people around you and going, why do they have what I want? Why are they able to attract those things? Why is that person able to have the relationship that I desire? Why is that person able to have the financial abundance I desire? Um, and, and it just, a lot of like looking outside of yourself and saying, why not me, you know? Um, and I ultimately feel like that's because the answer to that is because you haven't been able to to get to the point and you're getting to the point of being able to say, you know what, I'm a good person, deserving of good things. I deserve love. I deserve abundance. I deserve happiness just as much as anybody on this world and, you know, on this earth. Therefore, I can be certain that the universe is going to be bringing that toward me um, because you've been stuck in a cycle of like, like disappointment and, and loss and possibly like financial struggles. And it just it, overall, it just feels like you've been really burnt out with the way things have been recently. But I do, I feel like you've been hearing this for a while and don't take it from me. You know, let your circumstances kind of happen. But I do feel like positive changes are coming uh, your way. So let's see what Aquarius is dealing with in their current energy. So the fiery climax approaches with the nine of cups in reverse. Fiery climax approaches with the nine of cups in reverse for Aquarius's current energy. Current energy for Aquarius, please. Look at that. Look at that, Aquarius. This is you taking steps out of your car. I feel like you are very out of your comfort zone right now. Because there's this new beginning coming. There really is. Like, there really, really is. But it's taking a lot of faith on your part. A lot of being uncertain and trying to find that faith in the uncertainty. That's why I feel like you have this, like, needing to be a little bit more kind and, and giving yourself more grace right now because you are dealing with a lot. And if you feel like you're not responding perfectly or your, your thoughts are, are veering you more toward the negative or whatever the case is, of course they are. You're dealing with a lot of negativity right now, a lot of outside kind of like pressure in a way. And it's because you're getting close to the end of this cycle. I'm going to move this really quick because it's kind of, oh no, I messed my shirt up. It's kind of driving me crazy. So I'm going to put it, hopefully that's not too loud. Um, so be very, like, sounds kind of cheesy, but like, be very gentle with yourself right now. Like you're dealing with, um, some pretty intense energy. And I feel like you can be proud of yourself for handling it as well as you are, even if it's not perfect. Current energy here for Aquarius. Now, don't let yourself get caught too caught up in the negative, right? Don't let yourself get to a point where you're believing in the negative over, um, the positive. Yeah, there it is. You are so freaking tired of this energy, Aquarius. I feel like you've just felt so like maybe even distanced from your life. Like it, maybe it feels like you're just going through the motions, like just constantly like struggling is what it feels like. It feels like one struggle after another. And it's starting to make you really doubt yourself. But I want you to know that it's happening like for you, for the better, best for you. Like just keep the faith a little bit longer. And I feel like you will literally, because I feel like right now is that, this, that that time period where people either decide to keep going in faith or allow, allow the fear to control them and, and cause them to pull back into their comfort zone. So you have that choice right now. And whatever you choose is going to be right for you. This isn't like a life or death kind of situation. It doesn't feel like. It might feel like it, but it's not. I don't think. Don't allow 
yourself to get too caught up in what hasn't happened yet because you are heading in the right direction and I feel like you need to have a little bit more faith in that. All right, current energy for Aquarius. It's about the journey, not the destination. See, I feel like you're not listening to the signs. It feels like everything around you is pointing you towards these positive changes. I feel like the universe is sending you message of these positive changes. But at the same time, I feel like you're literally like, I'm not falling for it again. Like, that's the energy I get. Like, you're like, I'm not falling for the fact that there are good things coming my way because I'm really tired of good things not coming my way. Now, do I, is this going to happen tomorrow necessarily? No. It's not what I'm saying, right? This isn't necessarily like, oh, it's going to happen immediately. Um, but having the faith in your abundance is what creates your abundance. So your biggest... I feel like your biggest blockage right now is like burnout and just like not believing in good things happening. Let me clarify this page of cups in reverse. I want a little more on this. Clarifying the page of cups in reverse. Yeah, there it is. The magician in reverse. This is literally doubting your manifestations. You're going to have clarity soon. I feel like you're in a really triggered energy and you need to allow yourself to sit in it just like you are. And eventually clarity will come and you'll start to feel that boost of like optimism because I feel like you could really use a boost of optimism right now, Aquarius. So let's switch gears here. Immediate future for Aquarius. A new cycle begins with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. Okay. Immediate future for Aquarius. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune with a new romantic cycle begins. Immediate future for Aquarius. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. This isn't bad though. Hang on. I want more on this. I want more on this Ten of Swords, please. This is about you needing to realize that when things don't necessarily go according to your plan, when they don't work out exactly like you thought they would or you think you want them to, it doesn't mean that they're not working out for you. That's what this entire reading is teaching you. It's teaching you to have a little bit more faith during those times where things don't feel like it doesn't feel like things are working out for you. Because they are working out for you. You just can't see it. You can't see the bigger picture. That's the hardest thing is seeing the bigger picture. Immediate future for Aquarius. Immediate future for Aquarius. They're both in reverse. See, the biggest thing is you don't have your heart open. You've experienced things this so much in your life that it's now the expectation and that I can remember your expectations are the root of your results your beliefs are the root of your results and so that's actually keeping these positive changes from happening because you have your heart closed off to anything good because you don't it's almost like you're afraid to get your hopes up what it feels like being afraid to get your hopes up one more for Aquarius's immediate future this is immediate future for Aquarius a 
I want more here. Right before, I've always seen this in my spiritual journey and in the journey that this is exactly what this is, in the journeys that I've helped other people on, right before you close a cycle, right before good things start to come your way, something from your past will come back up and will say, are you going to choose to this? Are you going to choose to repeat the cycle? Or are you going to choose to move forward? Something from your past, I feel like, is going to come back. And it's up to you to not choose it. Because if you want to close the cycle and you want positive changes to come your way, you've got to let go of your past. Don't choose your past, choose your future. which is ultimately choosing yourself, choosing what's best for you. That's what this is saying. Ooh, juicy. <laughs> okay, we're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to clarify these messages as well as dive into the advice. Any information on that's in the description box below. Thank you so much, Aquarius, as always, for the support of my channel. And I hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you are needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Aquarius.